Hi, this is Jonathan. This week is a very special week. Um, a lot of firsts. Um, I did the first review of the Chavel guitar, something that I've never done in this channel. And now I'm going to do an Ibanez guitar, something I've never done in this channel uh, since its conception five or four years ago. This is the Ibanez J Custom JCRG2001 Undine.
if you're new to this channel, you might just want to subscribe to this channel, press the bell for notification of future videos that follow, be part of Patreon to support this channel. Uh, I want to thank Clement from Guitar 77 Plus for passing me this guitar for review. Now this is a pre-love guitar. Um, this is the Undine. Um, the finish is called Undine. This is the uh, Ibanez J Custom um, JCRG. I tend to forget the model. Okay, JCRG 2001. Now this was first released, uh, was introduced uh, by Ibanez in the year 2020. And the guitars are actually well, according to uh, the sources, uh, these are manufactured by Sugi. You know, uh, this is right up there because this belong to uh, the high end J Custom line. So beautiful workmanship. You know, beautifully crafted. The maple top is something to die for. So basically, you have a very nice five piece uh, maple and purple wood um, combination of a neck. Uh, this reminds me of uh, one of the famous uh, fretless bass from Ibanez. Uh, really nice. So this is a, a combination of purple wood and maple. Really nice. And then you have the tuners from Ibanez. Uh, and then you have uh, the locking nut. So this, I believe, is the top lock uh, version 3 uh, nut uh, in conjunction with the low Pro H uh, tremolo system. Now this looks like a whole lot like the Fred Row system. Of course, this is un under license. Uh, I believe this is manufactured by Goto, if I'm not mistaken. So you have this Fred Rose um, kind of a, of a system with a recess, so you can do all the crazy stuff that I just did in the song. Um, you have a really nice um, maple neck with very nice binding. These are like flame maple binding. But all these are in the Undine um, finish. Really nice and green. Um, very refreshing. Now you have abalone dot markers. Now these abalone dot markers pose a little bit of a problem for me because they are abalone and white. So it's kind of hard to see, especially when you have lights coming in and reflecting. But thank God I got these black markers right inside the neck. So this is cool. Yeah, at least, you know, it helps a lot. Uh, neck is, yeah, rolled over. Really nice workmanship. I love it. I, I think it's uh, it fits the abalone, the white abalone uh, dot marker fits the whole finish of the Undine um, finish on the fretboard. And then you have this really nice maple top um, for the body. Really nice flame maple uh, binding all around. Yeah, and for the body you have alder, really nice in blue finish. Uh, you have a four screw neck joint here, right? Really typical Ibanez. Uh, easy access to the 24 fret. This is a 24 fret guitar. Uh, back cover for the spring as well as the block for the uh, low H Pro uh, terminal system. And then another back plate for the electronics, right? So you have a five way pickup selected switch. You have a volume and a tone. There's no split call. Now these pickups are all from Dimazio. For the neck pickup, you have the Air Norton um, Passive Unico uh, pickup. Then for the middle, you have the True Velvet Single Call, also Passive and also Unico. And then for the bridge, you have the Tone Zone um, Passive Unico. So really nice combination. Oh, and one thing before I forget, there is a recess jack here, right here. So it's so discreet that sometimes it's hard for me to find the jack, especially when I'm changing uh, outputs or rather inputs to my, my digital audio workstation. So you have really nice workmanship. At the back of the neck, you'll see, you, you'll see some words that's been printed on, masterfully crafted for unparalleled sound, maximum playability and exquisite beauty from Ibanez. Nice. Now I've owned a couple of Ibanez guitars in my career, you know, and I remember all those were made in Japan. Uh, I think I have like four, if I'm not mistaken, but I kind of outgrew them and uh, sold each one as I went along in my career. And I really love those guitars because they play really easy on my hands and I think I was using Zero Nines back then with the tremolo system. They have the Ibanez have their own version of the Freud Rose system. I think they are licensed by Freud Rose and right now it's been called a low H Pro or Low Pro H tremolo system. Um, beautiful guitars and 
um, yeah, easy to play and in, in, in not not heavy. This guitar is pretty light. This guitar is like uh, three point five two kg, you know. And with all the appointments, you know, it's crazy. Um, I guess you pay for the finish, the unique finish. A lot of flame maple bindings are around the flame maple top, you know, the appointments that you see before you. Now, how does it play? Now, the neck is very, very comfortable. This is the JCRG Asymmetric uh, Super Wizard. Really fast neck. You have a 16.9 inch fret radius or flat fret radius. <laughs> really easy. Uh, Shredder's Paradise jumbo frets. Right, I'm not sure about this whether they are stainless steel. They look like, I don't know, I'm not too sure about that. Um, but it's easy on the hands, you know, for bending and everything. With the foot rows, you can do incredible uh, finger acrobatics with this guitar. Now, in terms of sound, this combination of humbuckers, single coil humbuckers are really, really unique. Um, the neck is not too high in output, really nice, um, medium, yeah, medium, and uh, really nice sounding um, uh, tone to it, you know, it, it's not overly bright, um, just nice, just nice. You can play rhythm with this if you want to. It's, it doesn't uh, sound like your full uh, humbucker in the neck position, you know, thick and, and heavy. This is this is nice. And then you have the single coil, which is really, really light, uh, twangy, if I can use the word, twangy. And then you have this incredible uh, monster of a bridge humbucker pickup. This thing shreds, okay, so yeah, use with caution. <laughs> A wonderful combination together with a low pro H uh, tremolo system. Yeah, this guitar is made for rock. And the finish is really unique. And there are a couple of finishes. So, and as I said, this guitar was released in 2020. So you might find some of them hanging around in Reverb or eBay. Yeah. Nice. I like playing this guitar. This is really a joy to play. Again, I want to thank Clement uh, from Guitar Sensor for giving me this privilege to actually play on Ibanez after all this time. Right, guitar is available in Guitar 77, so if you're interested and if you're in Singapore, give Clement a call, make an appointment, head on down and give this guitar a try. All right, nice. Let me know what you think about this guitar. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. I would want, I really want to hear from you. So let me know what you think about this guitar. Maybe some of you guys have owned an Ibanez guitar. What are your experiences? Uh, I seriously think that 80s is coming back. <laughs> I wish the 80s would come back. Those were great times. Um, yeah, let me know. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel. Press that bell for notification of future videos that follow. Be part of Patreon to support this channel. Um, I thank all my patrons for the wonderful support. Thank you so much, guys. I mean it. In the meantime, take care of yourself. And I'll see you real soon. Sayonara.